सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कंटिन्यू द सीरीज ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइजेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी बीन स्टार्टेड वेर वी स्टार्टेड विद द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ वट इज क्रिस्टलाइजेशन एंड द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग क्रिस्टलाइजेशन विच वॉज फॉलोड बाई द सेकेंड वीडियो वेर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मेकेनिज्म ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइजेशन एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग वन ऑफ द टाइप ऑफ क्रिस्टलाइजेशन विच इज एजुटेटेड टैंक क्रिस्टलाइजेशन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी विल बी लुकिंग एट द next type which are widely used all over the globe in various sectors and it is swenson walker crystallizer in this video we will dive into the world of swenson walker crystallizer by looking at the construction working its application and summing up with advantages and disadvantages of swenson walker crystallizer So now let's begin our discussion on Swenson Walker crystallizer. Well in this video we'll first talk about what is Swenson Walker crystallizer. This is one of the type of crystallizers which is mostly worldwide used. It is a continuous cooling type of crystallizer which is provided with a jacket throughout. It is one of the example of scrapped surface crystallizer. That means a crystallizer is well equipped with a scraper that will remove the accumulation of crystals on the inner surface of the crystallizer. Now continuing our discussion with construction of Swenson Walker crystallizer. Here you can see a pictorial image of Swenson Walker crystallizer. The Swenson Walker crystallizer consists of a long U-shaped semi-cylindrical bottom. It is 0.6 meter wide and 3 to 6 meter long. Then the external jacket which is provided all over the throw for circulation of cooling water during the operation to make the inner solution cool. Along with it a spiral agitator is placed inside the throw close to the bottom surface of the throw the agitator usually rotates at around 7 rpm and the capacity of crystallizer is increased by connecting the number of throws in series in ideal conditions around 4 throw of 3 meter length each can be used for the series of connections usually there are two provisions for inlet and discharge of the feed and the crystals at one of the end the inlet for the feed solution is there and at the other end overflow gate for the crystals and mother liquid is provided the spiral agitator used here serves as a number of purposes from which the first is that it scraps the crystal from the cooling surface and thus prevents the accumulation of crystals on the heat transfer surface It also helps in keeping the crystals in suspension which is in suspended form by lifting and showering them in the solution and uniform size of crystals are obtained along with it the spiral agitator helps in conveying the crystal from one end of the crystallizer to the other end the throat is made up of metal sheets that are welded to a iron frame at the top the material of construction of the jacket is usually mild steel The spiral agitator is supported at either ends outside the throat and a stuffing box assembly is attached to close the either ends that prevent the leakage. So this was about the overall construction of Swenson Walker crystallizer. Moving further in this video we will discuss about the working of Swenson Walker crystallizer. Here think of the throw as a long path at one of the end of the path you pour in a hot and concentrated solution as this solution slowly moves along the path it cools down and this is because of the cooling water flowing around the throw once the solution becomes super saturated crystal starts to form and starts building and this cooling process causes tiny crystals to start form in the solution the spiral agitator's job is to gently stir the crystals and which is to prevent the crystals from getting stick to the bottom but instead they float around and grow big by the time the solution reaches to the other end of the path the path is full of these growing crystals and they spill out through a gate like waterfall this crystallizer is suitable only when super saturation can be achieved by cooling alone i hope that this working of swenson walker crystallizer is clear to you if there arises any questions in your mind do ask them out in the comment section Now furthermore in this video we'll look at the applications of Swenson Walker crystallizer. These type of crystallizers are used in those industries 
where we need to obtain substances from solution. They are widely used in pharmaceutical, food and beverages, chemicals and many more industries. For example, we can think of producing salt, sugar and other useful chemicals. The reason that these crystallizers are employed is that they can produce highly pure crystals. And the other reason is that this type of crystallizer is highly adaptable to different material and processes. And guys, as discussed earlier, the Swenson Walker crystallizer is a method of producing crystals from a solution by using a shallow throw with a spiral scraper that moves the crystals from one end to the other end. There are some of the advantages and disadvantages of this method. We'll start firstly with the advantages of Swenson Walker crystallizer. The advantages of Swenson Walker crystallizer are as follows, from which the first is that as compared to the other crystallizer, this type of crystallizers require less floor space. This means that the size of Swenson Walker crystallizer is compact and can be accommodated even when there is space scarcity. The other advantages of Swenson Walker crystallizer is that it is highly efficient and it reduces the amount of material in the process and thus saves the cost. Along with it, the Swenson Walker crystallizer normally operates at a continuous process. So the labor cost is minimum and it does not require constant supervision and frequent cleaning. And the last advantages of Swenson Walker crystallizer is that the crystals produced are free of any inclusion and there is no aggregation of the crystals. And this leads to enhanced purity and quality of the end product. So these were main four points regarding the advantages of Swenson Walker crystallizer. Now nextly, looking at the disadvantages of Swenson Walker crystallizer. From which the first disadvantages of Swenson Walker crystallizer is that the range of crystal size distribution is very wide. This affects the appearance and uniformity of the product. Next disadvantage is that the yield of crystals may be altered because of the scrapping operation. This is caused by breaking of the scraper due to the agitation and hence the overall yield and quality are of a great concern. And finally the last disadvantage of Swenson Walker crystallizer is that its maintenance is very difficult and the overall apparatus is very costly. This problem of maintenance becomes challenging when we deal with corrosive materials. So these were the advantages and disadvantages of Swenson Walker crystallizer. So guys, I hope that you liked this brief about Swenson Walker crystallizer where we discussed about what is Swenson Walker crystallizer, the construction of Swenson Walker crystallizer, followed by the working applications and at the end discussing about the advantages and disadvantages of Swenson Walker crystallizer. So guys, that's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more informative videos related to chemical engineering, process engineering, chemical safety, industrial safety and as always feel free to leave any questions or comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.